And I look at wealthy people fleeing California, for example, and I think something about this story doesn't add up. It's, it's rather a lot like building up a population with too many males. There's something else that explains this, because at the end of the day, wealthy elites are going to end up with the best real estate. So the fact that they're fleeing either means that which elites are going to end up with that real estate is about to switch. Maybe this was a, uh, a real estate scam. You know, Malibu will always be occupied by rich people. It will, but which rich people? Yes. And I wonder, you know, having seen something that very much looks like an undeclared invasion moving through Central America, knowing that the Chinese Communist Party thinks in terms of long-term planning over the movement of people and resources, that our system, uh, we've effectively opened the gates of the city to anybody who's willing to pay uh, to corrupt our political structures. There is a story you could tell in which the CCP has a different understanding of what the future of our country is than most Americans do. And, uh, well, let's just put it this way. Maybe I'm imagining what I saw, but if I'm not, then all of those Chinese migrants who don't want to talk about what they're doing moving into the U.S., they're going to do something. I don't know what it's going to be, but... Um, I don't know when we became so naive about the fact that we have, uh, there are parties abroad who do not wish us well and would not mind at all seeing us um, removed from our position of power. And who knows, maybe, you know, some of us displaced from the continent we live on, I, I can't say.